Kanye West disrespects George Floyd and Steven Jackson chimes in and checks him. What up, YouTube? This is Getty Radio back at you with another video. I want to give a big salute to all of my supporters and anyone watching this video right now. And if you're new here, please like, comment, subscribe, and join the Getty gang. Why don't you? Let's get to the content. Okay, Kanye West is back at it again, bugging out. He's having a Drink Champs interview, and somehow he crowballs George Floyd's name into the interview and he insinuates that George Floyd may not have died from asphyxiation. He may have died from complications dealing with health or maybe it was a fentanyl overdose, man. And Steven Jackson has an adverse reaction to hearing about the news of Kanye West speaking on George Floyd's name in such a nature and says he's about to expose all of the phone calls and all of the text messages of the celebrities that was reaching out to him. And I'm thinking he's saying that Kanye West is one of those people, man. It gets interesting. Shout out to Kanye West and drink champs and shout out to Steven Jackson. This is Getty Radio. Let's go. I, I watched the George Floyd documentary that Candace Owens put up. One of the things that his two roommates said was they want a tall guy like me. They want a tall guy like me. And the day when he died, he said a prayer for, you know, eight minutes. Mm -hmm. He said a prayer for eight minutes. They hit him with the fentanyl. If you look, the, the guy's knee wasn't even on his neck like that. When he said, mama, mama his, is his girlfriend. They said he screamed for his mama. Mama was his girlfriend. It's in the documentary. But something that hit me, that fucked me up when I was watching the documentary, and it said, they want a tall guy like me. When I looked at that image of him, this tall black dude with the bald head, he reminded me of somebody else. Who do you think he reminded me of? Virgil. He reminded me of Virgil. You know what I'm saying? I'm not finna cry in front of y'all because that's how they get me, right? All right? But I know that we lost him. And I know that this white company, Louis Vuitton, is now making statues of him like as a martyr. Okay, I don't know what the hell Kanye West is talking about here. Is he trying to say that George Floyd is Virgil? I don't know what he's talking about, how he even crowbarred Virgil's name into a conversation about George Floyd, talking about George Floyd reminds him of Virgil. Virgil did not die by having a cop's knee on his neck. Virgil did not die of police brutality. I don't understand what he's talking about here. Kanye West it sounds like he's losing his mind because this right here is bananas, man. Y'all let me know in the comment section what y'all think about this. But I got Steven Jackson's reaction to what Kanye West just said, man. And he's highly upset, man. I'm going to let y'all get to it. Let's go. You know, everybody send me this video. Say, man, listen, the better thing to do is call his daughter, mother, or call his daughter. Call his cousin Wu. Talk to people who knew him his whole life. When he went on hard times, Talk to the people who picked him up. When he needed job, when he needed to uh, close for a job, or his mama needed rent, call to the people that helped him out. Listen to the people that helped him help him out. That's people you need to talk to. Don't talk to opportunists, because that's what you're doing. Because the same time when all this George Floyd shit was going on, everybody was screaming George Floyd this, George Floyd that, because everybody was trying to make money off somebody else's pain. But that ain't the hustle no more. The new hustle is talking about him and dissing him. All that shit is weak. All y'all cloud chasing. All y'all look sad. I said what I had to say and I stand on that. But this is the last post I'm gonna make about it and I'm gonna leave it alone and go back to my beautiful life. I, I can't wait to see who jump on the bandwagon and who get to post this shit and trying to cloud chase too. Cause I got receipts. I got text messages from all you motherfuckers. I got calls from all you motherfuckers. Jack this, how can I help? Can I get on the side of you? When the next press conference you doing? But don't do that. Y'all better not do that. Y'all better not do that. And I'm gonna leave it at that. But I'm waiting to see who all jump on the bandwagon. Cause all y'all was calling me during that time. I can't wait to see. Damn, that was fucked up. What happened to Joy? I didn't have to do him like that. Now y'all, okay, yeah, I got receipts. And this gonna be my last message. But I'm sitting back watching, watching. And I'm gonna show y'all how they all cloud chasing. Because all these motherfuckers were sending me messages trying to get on the side of me. Oh, just, oh what, what can I do, man? I can never see nothing like this. 
Yes, yeah, sir. All right, we're going to leave it right here, man. Kanye West is bugging out once again, man. Speaking on George Floyd, and he's insinuating that George Floyd may not have died from asphyxiation by that cop leaning on his neck. He's speaking about some odd prayer that was prayed upon. I don't know if that was George Floyd he's talking about, but he's talking about when George Floyd said his final words when he was dying on the ground. He said the words mother. He called out for his mother. He's saying that he's not talking about his actual mother, that he was talking about George Floyd's girlfriend. Her actual name is mother. I don't know what the woman's name is, but I think he's bugging out and it's really bugging me out by him saying that he watched a documentary made by Candace Owens. We already know Candace Owens hasn't had anything Thing to say positive about George Floyd's death since he died, right? So we got to take that with a grain of salt. But Kanye West speaks with a split tongue, right? When Chase Bank and the Jewish community comes at him and cuts his throat or cuts his business deals, he runs to black people and say, hey, look at how the white community or the white infrastructure is doing us. But then at the same time, he'll throw on a White Lives Matter shirt and say, hey, White Lives Matter too. So he straddles the fence and he speaks with a split tongue. You got to be careful when you're leaning on what Kanye West is saying. You can't really take what he's saying serious but what he's saying is very dangerous in my opinion and I can applaud Steven Jackson for standing up and speaking on this thing right here man because he is dead wrong and Steven Jackson is one of the ones who was out in the public speaking about the brutality of what happened to George Floyd right right wrong or indifferent a lot of people don't like Steven Jackson because he tries to straddle the fence between a corporate person an NBA millionaire and being a street dude right he goes to O Block he speaks about snitching and things like that so he's kind of got some controversy around his name too but on this issue I gotta stand with him on this because Kanye West is bugging and I think to Steven Jackson's point he may be clout chasing the Republican side of things because he plans on running for the presidential election in 2024 are you gonna vote for Kanye West man let me know in the comment section what y'all think about this but anyway this has been Getty Radio I appreciate you being here please like comment subscribe I will catch you guys on the flip side peace